I never formally thought this is what I want to be doing. I mean, it just came naturally. My mother always said, if whatever you want to do, do the research, do the learning. So I was born into Buddhimatics, actually. My parents started Buddhimatics. Buddhimatics was my playground, really, because it was in the backyard of our house. I used to play with craft people, artisans, and seeing how they work hard. I think without knowing, that has really inspired me to be that too. I loved creating fabric and making clothes for dolls out of that. And even I, my first batik was a shirt for my brother. Then I wanted to learn the technical side of it or the creative side of it, how I could enhance my knowledge on it. By doing um, a degree on fashion and textile, then working at Brandix after that for five years, that really helped me broaden my knowledge and broaden my horizons, really. Being innovative was inbuilt in my blood, like, you know, we always had to look at something new. I wanted to create something that I wanted to wear because I didn't like the batik at that time, what I saw in Sri Lanka. Why can't I use different types of silks and why not different colors? And so I started experimenting. Where the challenge has been for me personally doing Buddhi Batiks is, oh, but it's a cottage industry who, like, you know, it's not a serious business. Oh, is that your hobby kind of thing? But in 2007, when we uh, launched our collection at Fashion Week uh, for saris and these um, bright colored saris in these flowing fabrics, it was on the cockwalk, they were like, really, is that batik? There onwards, um, I've had a lot of support from the industry, from the people, from the press. That's because I was serious about it too because they saw I was serious, I was passionate about it. People wanted to help be a part of it. Sometimes I see um, some of the younger people, okay, well, it's not working out and like, let's look into something else. But, and then they get frustrated because that is not really the thing that they want to do. But I would say, give it some time, try, don't give up. You also need to be really focused and you need to know that is what you really want. When you keep fluctuating. I don't know if you'll get that help that you're looking for, but if you are determined, if you try to make it work, you will definitely see different ways of working it out because you will be so focused, you'll see how to achieve it.